Just a few hours from now, hundreds of people expected to rally in Rockwall. A group called Indivisible DFW organizing it. The group just sprouted up in the months since the November election. Upset with President Trump and Republicans, and they are using Tea Party tactics to get their message across. In studio this morning is Jay Malone, one of the leaders of this local chapter. Jay, good to see you, man. Yeah, thanks for having me. Tell me how many people are in this group and the purpose of it. So our group uh, total across the region has about 15,000 members. Um, so we are really excited because these are members across every county in North Texas and even in smaller towns. Uh, we recently helped to found uh, Indivisible Ellis County and uh, there's an indivisible rock wall. Every region has uh, parts of this movement. And the purpose of it is what? So the purpose is to, to restore faith in our leaders. Uh, this is a problem that, that we have right now, and this is something that you could really see uh, after the election. So on January 21st, you had five million people come out because they were dissatisfied with this mes message of division that had been coming out of the Trump campaign. And instead of taking that opportunity to meet with the leaders of the Women's March and to express concern for the division that had been caused, they doubled down. Is, is, is this a Tea Party of the left? This is definitely not a Tea Party of the left. This is a civic engagement organization. This is a movement of citizens that are trying to ask constituent questions. They're trying to talk to the representatives and make sure that their representatives are representing them. And if they don't represent us, then we're going to find new leaders that will represent us. Jay, are you guys Democrats? We are Democrats. We are Republicans. We are conservatives. We are liberals. We run the entire spectrum. But the most important thing is that we're Americans and we're constituents. And that's why we are so frustrated when our representatives refuse to meet with us and when they call us paid protesters. We're not paid protesters. I've talked to the uh, Indivisible Group in Denton and they actually have a manual yes. of Tea Party tactics that you guys have successfully used. Give me some examples of what's been effective so far. So the most effective tactic is just you know, the basics of citizenry. You know, making phone calls, calling up our representatives and making sure that they're listening to our concerns, making sure that they understand what we're doing, why we're doing this. Um, another important thing is town halls. You know, town halls are an opportunity for representatives to meet with their constituents and hear their concerns. Unfortunately, a lot of our representatives are refusing to call town halls. You know, Kay Granger, it's been a decade. And this is a big problem that we have in this, in this region, in this state, and, and really throughout the country, representatives refusing to represent. What, I know you're not the Tea Party or the you know Tea Party of the left, but what made the Tea Party so successful is that it ran candidates against the GO or, or uh, within the GOP rather. Um, are are you recruiting anyone to run? Yeah, right now, we are trying to connect people with leaders that are actually going to lead. And uh, that's why we're so excited for this rally tonight, uh, today at 2 p.m. Uh, the rally at 2 p.m. in, in Rockwall. Uh, it was organized by a Mansfield ISD uh, school board candidate, first time candidate named Jessica Camacho. And she started talking to other new candidates okay. throughout the region and asking them if they'd like to get together and introduce themselves. And this, and this the idea is to combine our, our efforts across the region so that we do make some positive change. And that's at the uh, Rockwall Amphitheater at 2 o'clock today. Rockwall Harbor Amphitheater at 2 o'clock today. All right, Jay Malone, thanks for coming in today. We appreciate it. Thank you.